Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph the ellipse when it is not in standard form. So to do that, what we're first going to have to do is um, complete the square to put it into one of our standard form equations. And then we can identify where the major axis is. Is it horizontal or vertical? And then we can start identifying the center, the foci, the vertices, and the covertices. So the first thing to do to complete the square, what I want to do is I want to group my x's and my y's. And I want to get this 9 to the other side. So I'll rewrite this as x squared plus 2x plus y squared plus 4y, and then I'll add 9 to both sides. Okay. So now, when completing the square, uh, what we want to do, remember our general form is we want to have an x minus h squared, right? We want to have a binomial squared. So I'm going to look at both of these terms and say, all right, what do I need to do to be able to create a perfect squared trinomial that I can factor to a binomial squared. So to do that, we have our completing the square. Now remember, when we have ax squared plus bx plus c, to create a perfect square trinomial, we simply take b, divide it by 2, and square it. So in this case, we don't have a c, but we don't need a c. All we need to do is take 2, divided by 2, and square it. Take 4, divided by 2, and square it. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared equals 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared equals 4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these terms and add it into my parentheses. Therefore, I have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4. Actually, I kind of like dark parentheses equals 9. Now, remember going back to your equations, if you add something on one side of the equation, you've got to add it on the other side of the equation, right? Addition property of equality. So you can see that I, whenever I found these values of 1 and 4, I added them into the parentheses, into each one of these parentheses. So I added 1 and I added 4. Therefore, I need to add 1 and I need to add 4 to the other side, right? Um, so now the main important thing that's probably the most difficult about the completed square is understanding not so much how to create a perfect square trinomial, but how to go from a perfect square trinomial to a binomial squared. And that's just simply factoring. And you could factor these into two binomials if you want to. But what you'll do is you'll notice that the two binomials is just one binomial squared, which in this case is x plus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 9 plus 1 is 10 equals 14. OK, so now um, what I need to do is you can see that this is an equation where if I divide by 14, set this equal to 1, um, I am going to have my a and my b are going to be exactly the same. That means my vertices and my covertices are going to be the exact same distance from the center. Therefore, this is a circle. And remember, a circle is in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So therefore, I can determine that the radius is equal to um, the square root, or the radius is equal to r squared equals 14. Therefore, r equals the square root of 14. And my center, which is in the form of h comma k, is this course going to be opposite of h, opposite of k. So it's negative 1, negative 2. So now let's go and graph. So I find the center, which is negative 1, negative 2. And now what I simply need to do is you know, kind of identify what exactly is going to be the square root of 14. And you can take a calculator if you want to. But I like to also think of this as saying, all right, well, I know that the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of 9 is 3. So it's going to be a decimal that's somewhere between 3 and 4. Um, and when I'm graphing on something like this, I'm just going to approximate the best I can. So it's going to be 3 in a decimal. So um, now remember, for a circle, a circle is equidistant from your center. So I'm going to create four points, kind of like the vertices and the covertices. Um, but all the points are going to be at the exact same distance, which would be 3 and some, or the square root of 14, which is 3 and some number. So I'll go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3. That's all 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, yeah. And then 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Not the best circle in the world. One, two, three. Yeah, oh, well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you want to identify if it's a circle, as well as um, write the graph of the equation, or write the graph of the circle. Thanks.